Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord for his goodness. Praise the Lord for his mercy. Let everything have breath. If you're breathing, praise the Lord. Give him honor. Give him glory. Give him the praise. We come to magnify the name of Jesus. We come to glorify the name of Jesus. We come to say thank you, Lord. For all your goodness and all your mercy. This is the day you made. And we come to rejoice and be glad in it. Because you didn't have to wake us up this morning and clothe us in our right mind. For that, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. So we have come to praise God. From whom? All blessings are flowing. Let's praise God. Yes. Praise Him with everything you have. Praise Let's praise Him. God from whom all the blessings. All the blessings. So many blessings. Hallelujah, praise his holy name. Now we will have song selections. Don't stop praising God. Amen. Don't start your worship. Yes. Don't yes. stop your praise. He's been mighty, 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 mighty God. Yes. Woo! Don't stop. Oh, yes, he Don't let nobody get in your way. Sad. Don't stop. Don't Lift stop. him up. Lift him up high. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. You got one mouth, one tongue. Praise God who give you the breath, who give you the tongue, the tongue. And say, I thank you. And I praise you forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Continue to praise God. As this minister of music with our opening selection. Amen. 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 Let's praise God. Amen. Yes. He's worthy. He's the Lamb of God. Worthy. Yes, He is. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Yes. Blessing us right now. Right now. Right now. Oh, give thanks. Give thanks. Unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks. Unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes. For he is worthy. Worthy. For he is good, yes he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good, yes he is good. Oh give thanks, oh give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, yes he is good. Oh give thanks, oh give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good, yes he is good. For he is worthy, worthy. For he is good, yes he is good. Oh, give thanks, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, yes he is good. Oh, give thanks. 
eternal we come now to say thank you, thank you Lord. for all of your many blessings yeah. every time we look around you're just good to us you're kind you're loving you're faithful you're forgiving you're worthy to be praised God for even when we are not faithful to you you keep on being faithful to us yeah. and oh God we thank you for bringing us through another month the month of September and now by your grace and your loving kindness and your tender mercies you've allowed us to see the first day and coming up oh God to the first Sunday of October we can't magnify your name enough because many that were here this time last year they are now sleeping in their graves but thank you Lord that some way somehow you look beyond all of our faults, our mistakes, our wicked ways, where our foot have slipped, and our tongues have gone contrary to your will and your way. And Lord, you still so fit to have a purpose for each one of our lives. Lord, we're not going to wait to thank you to see what the purpose is going to be, but we Thank you right now in advance for whatever our purpose is. We realize, God, we wouldn't still be here if it wasn't for the fact that you had a plan for all of our lives, plan to prosper us and give us an expected end and a bright future, plan not to harm us, plan where we can be uh, the lender and not the borrower, plan where we can be the head and not to tell. And oh God, we just want to say thank you. We ask you to search us right now. We, we realize we messed up, fallen so short. Please forgive us. Cleanse us in the blood of Jesus. And then teach us, oh God, how to forgive and how to love one another, knowing that if we can't forgive each other, you say you're to hold up our forgiveness. Have mercy on the sick. There are many that are sick in mind, sick in body, sick in spirit. Right. Have mercy on the bereaved, God. So many are lonesome and burdened. Can't pay bills. Don't know how they're going to make it from day to day and hour to hour. But Lord, help us to trust that you're a way maker. Yeah. You'll make a way out of no way. Yeah. You'll bring us through troubled waters because you've been our bridge in ages past. Yeah. You are our bridge right now. You will be our bridge and our shelter from the stormy blast in days to come. Lord, as your word go forth, bless the man of God that's going to share what the Spirit has given unto him. Deposit into him, O God, what your Spirit has to say to the church. And then let the church, everyone who have ears, hear what your Spirit 
is saying in these last and evil days. Lord, you're speaking to us. You're speaking through the storm. You're speaking through the pandemic. You're speaking through this future election. You're speaking through the government. You're speaking. Let us know it's no accident why these things are happening. You're just speaking, God. You're cleaning up your church. You're stripping all unrighteousness. For you said righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to all people. Have mercy on us, God. Have mercy on this world. Have mercy on number 45. We don't know why he's there. You don't, we don't know what he's doing. But Lord, let us know the powers that be are ordained by you. Moved by your spirit that people can get saved in this last and evil day. Let us not complain and whine and worry, but use these opportunities uh, to minister where we can and how we can. And then, Lord, when we have prayed our last prayer, done our last work, Come to the last mile of the way. May you say well done. Help us to know to say well done. We must have done well. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We shout hallelujah. You hadn't just brought us a mighty long way. You brought us all the way. And we thank you, Lord. And we ask it by faith in the name of Jesus. And every heart said, amen. Amen. Our scripture reading today will come from the book of Luke chapter 23 Luke chapter 23 beginning at verse 33 Luke chapter 23 beginning at verse 33 it reads and when they were come to the place which is called Calvary there they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them deride him, saying, He save others, let him save himself. If he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar, and saying, If thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews and one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him saying if thou be Christ save thyself and us but the other answering rebuked him saying dost thou not fear God seeing thou art in the same condemnation and we indeed justly for we receive the due reward of our deed but this man have done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. The word of God for the people of God.
each and every day of my life. I bless the Lord for He's come. Yeah. Oh, I will bless, I will bless the Lord at all. Can I get 
sanctified hands together and bless the Lord. Wherever you are, let's bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. Let's give God praise. Let's give God honor. Let's give God glory because he is good. What I like about him, he's not good sometimes, but he's good all the time. Oh, he's good all the time. Anybody out there? No. <clears throat> that the Lord. I say the Lord. The Lord. Jesus the Christ. The Lord. The Son of God. The Lord. Mary's baby. The Lord. The your Lord and Savior. The Lord. The Redeemer, your Lord. The Lord. I say the Lord. He is good. All the time. I can tell you that. But you got to be like David. You got to taste. You got to taste. And see for yourself. In other words, Brahma used to say it like this. You got to try him for yourself. And when you try the Lord for yourself, nobody else won't have to tell you about who he is and how good he is. <clears throat> because he's good. Oh, I know he's good. I say I know he's good. Because I tried him for myself. Oh, David says, oh, bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise, not my praise, not your praise, but his praise shall continually be in my mouth. His praise, you know what? It ain't about us, it's about him. His praise. For God inhabited the praises of his people. And so God is worthy. God is worthy this morning to be praised, to be honored to be magnified and to be exalted and so this morning we thank our, our praise team our musician for carrying us into the atmosphere of worship and praise thank God for our first lady Reverend Riley our worship leader thank God for Brother Brian for that fervent prayer and scripture and we certainly thank God for our, uh, our IT uh, ministry who makes it possible for us to come to you on Sunday mornings. And so we thank God. We're just so very grateful today to be uh, in your presence once again and to be able to have an opportunity to come and to preach the word of God. Truly the Lord is, is good and the Lord has been good and the Lord is good and the Lord will continue to be good because he is good. And so we thank him for his goodness and for his mercy and we certainly thank God for your presence this morning. And so my brothers and sisters, we thank God for each of you this morning and we pray God's continued blessings upon you this morning as we continue on this journey, what we call life. And on this journey of life, we know that we're going to have some setbacks. 
but nevertheless, we know that we are going somewhere because the Lord has promised us a better place than where we are. And so we thank God again today for this opportunity. We thank God for you. And so my brothers and sisters, again, we thank God for the opportunity to preach his word. For those of you who have your Bibles this morning, if you will turn with me to the scripture that has been was read for your hearing. <clears throat> and we're going to look at Luke 23, and we're going to uh, look at the 39th through the 43rd verses. Okay. <clears throat> 39. Excuse me, we're going to start at 38 verse. And a subscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Dost not thou fear God, seeing thou are in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. My brothers and my sisters, we have chosen for a subject this morning, recognized at last. Recognized at last. Recognize at last. Before we enter into our message, I want to encourage you. And I don't know whether or not you saw the debate, the presidential debate on Wednesday, but I want to encourage you if you saw it, if you didn't see it. I want to encourage you to vote. To vote. To vote. I want to encourage you to vote. Yeah, vote. Go to the polls. Send it in by ballot. But vote in this coming election. For this coming election is not only for November 2020, but it's for years to come. Yeah. Go vote. Recognized at last. Recognized. Recognized. We live in a culture, a society. It's traditional for us to recognize people of status, people of honor, Professionals, we merit people with titles. That's the society we live in. We, 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 we somewhat lift people up in high esteem who we say are in high places. And we sometimes give them the best seats in the house in the banquet hall, sometimes even in the church, and even at the table, they, they, they receive the best seats because of their titles and because of their status. But I had an experience with a, an administrator of mine one time that he and I couldn't see eye to eye. And so I consulted with a friend of mine and he said to me Riley even if you don't respect the man 
Respect the position. And so we esteem people in high positions. We, 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 we give them honor. We give them respect. But people who sometimes are not in high positions are overlooked. Poor, the poor, the unfortunate, the indigenous, laborers, people are overlooked who, who sometimes who have made great contributions to society. Amen. Simply because they're overlooked does not mean that they are not successful. Yes. But I come to tell you this morning that these people who sometimes are overlooked, they, they have contributed to society. Yes. They raised good families. Yes. They have been moral and spiritual servants in the community. They, they have paid taxes. They've been loving citizens. But sometimes these people are overlooked as nobodies. But I come to tell you this morning that everybody deserves to be recognized. Amen. From time to time. Recognition shouldn't be predicated on your title. Or your degree. Or your occupation. Or your standing in the community. Everybody is somebody. In the eyesight of God. You ought to pat yourself on the back this morning. Huh? I don't care if you come from the south side of the tracks. Or whether you're living in metropolitan New York. You are somebody. Because the psalmist says. I will praise the Lord for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh God didn't make no Trash, no second hand people. Everybody to God is somebody. Oh, and I don't, I don't care whether your behavior is good or whether it's bad or whether you are low degree or high degree or high society or middle society or low society. You are somebody in the eyes of God. Simply because word said for God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish he didn't give his son for a certain sect of society or people yeah. but God knows I thank God he gave him just for me and I like to believe that if Jesus didn't come to earth for nobody else he came just for me yeah, thank you, oh he came for me yes. so I just think right now we ought to take a 15 second praise wherever you are. You ought to, you ought to take a 15 second praise. You ought to raise your hands. You ought to clap your hands. You ought to lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I love you. I honor you, Lord. Because I come to tell you this morning, can't nobody do you like Jesus. You hear what I'm saying? Nobody. Mama can't do you like Jesus. And mama sure enough know how to love you. Mama changed your diapers. She didn't just change your diapers, but she rubbed your little honey. She, she rubbed your head. She, she rubbed your arms. She rubbed your feet. She, she knew how to put that motherly love in you, but she can't do you like Jesus. Yeah. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. And so... We just want to celebrate Jesus this morning yeah. because Jesus loves you. Yeah. Not only does he love you, but Jesus knows your name. Hallelujah. Jesus knows where you live. Yeah. And Jesus is with you this morning. You. I want you to know that you're not alone yeah. because he promised to never leave you, nor forsake you. He's with you this morning. Yeah. And you know, in recognizing people in high society and and for their achievements, and we salute them, and we serenade them, and we exalt them. But all of us, all of us, all of us need to be recognized. For the word of God says, exalt one another. In other words, you, you ought to greet one another and, 
and, and, and, and read them with respect, read them with honor. Used to be a time we would say Mr. and Mrs. That, that just was out of respect. But now we call each other by our first names. Yeah. yeah. Regardless of your status, you ought to be recognized. Amen. But let me tell you when we get recognition. We, we, we should recognize people while they're living. We should tell them how much we care about them while they're living. We should honor them and exalt them while they're living. Yes. And the old saying is, give me my flowers while I live so I can smell them. Yes. But what we do is we give people flowers when they die, when they can't smell them. That's when we exalt people. We tell the audience, we tell the congregation, we tell the community just how good they were. But oh, wouldn't that would have been good if you had told them how good they were when they were living? How much you cared about them when they were living? How much you loved them when they were living? How much you respect them when they were living? But we said when they can't hear it. Yeah, we, we say good things about the dead. And we only say it at the funeral because when they go to the cemetery, we ain't going back. We ain't, we ain't going back. But we ought to be recognized while we are alive. And in our text, Jesus, Paul says, this thing wasn't done in no corner. But it was done on a hill far away that was called Calvary. So that all the world could see. And Isaiah said that Jesus was led as a dumb lamb to the slaughter. You know all the, the, the suffering. All of the persecution that was placed upon Jesus. He never tried to defend himself. In the courtroom of injustice, he never tried to defend himself. In the courtroom, when he was accused of an insurrectionist, when he was accused of things that he had not done, he never tried to defend himself. But I'm glad that he didn't defend himself, but he was standing in our defense. Our defense of injustice. Our defense of, of, of sin. He was standing in our place. So we see the word says they led him out to Calvary Cross. And how he was out there on Calvary's cross, the first thing that Jesus said, come on, come on. he said on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah. All right. But I'm glad that when he said it, that he had an audience. Yeah. But the audience that he had below the cross didn't pay it any attention. But the word said that there was two male factors. In other words, there was two thieves that was crucified beside him. But isn't it amazing that these male factors, their name was not mentioned. But they were classified as thieves, which had no name. But you see, they didn't have a name because you and I, we could have been one of those thieves. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. You and I have taken things that didn't belong to us. Yeah. You and I have done things that we shouldn't have done. Yeah. You and I should have been on the cross, but these thieves was there because they were found guilty. Yeah. And while Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do, he was not speaking 
about the thieves, but he was speaking about all of us. Because we do things, church, that sometimes that if we realize what we were doing and the repercussion that we were going to encounter, we wouldn't do what we do. But I come to tell you that the final thing that's going to happen to us if we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to find ourselves eternally in hell, in eternal damnation. But Jesus is saying to God, forgive them for they're ignorant of what they're doing because they don't realize the consequences of what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. These executioners of Jesus would not have executed him if they only knew who they were executing. Jesus was the Lamb of God. Jesus, the Lamb of God, was the supreme sacrifice for sin. Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus is the hope of glory. In other words, if there is no Jesus, there is no hope. And the word says that it does not appear to us the suffering that we go through now compared to the glory that we shall receive when Jesus comes. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm looking for the glory of the Lord and the coming of the Lord because I know the Lord got a better place and a better home and a better plan for what we are encountering now. Yeah. Well, now, Jesus' word on the cross was not gone unnoticed or unheard because on the cross, Jesus said one time before he was crucified, he said to the people, if you don't believe me, believe in the works that I do. For your works will speak for you. Song says, may the work I've done speak for me. Even when I'm sleeping in my grave, may the works that I've done speak for me. So we find that the people didn't realize who Jesus was through his works. So that's why they went ahead on and crucified him. Well now, I come to tell you, at last, Christ is recognized. Isn't it amazing that he was recognized on the cross? It ain't no secret who Jesus is. The word is out on who he is. Anybody know who I'm talking about? It ain't no secret what the Lord can do. What he does for others. I bring you good news. He'll do it for you. Well now, at last, Jesus was recognized on the cross. He wasn't recognized by the high officials. Well now, but no, there was only one poor thief on the cross could see Jesus who he really was in that amazing church that they were suffering on the cross but they also had conversation Jesus wasn't talking to the ones down below him but as he was dying and his blood was being shed on the old rugged cross he had two thieves and the word says that one was on the left and one on the right. It didn't give their names, church. It just said one on the left and one on the right. And if I had to surmise it this morning, I would say that the thief on the left was the goat thief. Because Jesus says that he's going to put the goats on the left and he's going to put the lambs on the right. And... I can see this morning, church, that while Jesus was on the cross, you see Jesus' disciples had deserted him because they really couldn't see who he was. So the disciples went on and left Jesus, and there he was all alone on the cross. Not only that, church, but Pilate couldn't recognize who Jesus was. He turned Jesus over to the mob said do what you want to do with him 
Not only could Pilate not recognize him, but the religious leaders couldn't see and didn't want to see who Jesus was. So they cried out, crucify him, kill him. Well, now I'm glad this morning that one poor thief, a robber, a criminal, he saw what nobody else could see. Can you see this morning what that poor thief saw? He saw more than just a man like him being condemned to death. But what he saw this morning, church, he saw good in Jesus. He saw more than just a man being crucified. He had a testimony. The testimony was that I deserve to be crucified. The thief said, I deserve to get what I'm getting. And he told the other thief, you deserve it too. But this man has not done anything wrong. He don't deserve to be crucified. You got to have a testimony. And I don't know about you, but my testimony this morning that I know who Jesus is. I could see him back on Calvary's cross for not what he had done, but for what I had done. He was my substitute. If he had not died, I would have had to die on a old rugged cross. But I'm glad this morning that Jesus paid the price and he paid it in full. That's my testimony. Do you have a testimony this morning that the Lord is good? I heard David say that the Lord have always been on my right side. Otherwise, David was saying the Lord was always with me. The Lord promised he would never leave you not forsake you. And I heard, I heard, I heard Job says that he is my redeemer and that I shall see him for myself. Even though worms destroy my body, but the Lord is my redeemer. In the Lord good, do you have a testimony this morning? And the thief church, I believe that he heard Jesus when he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The thief came to realize that even though I'm dying, I can be forgiven and I need forgiveness. He realized that Jesus church was the micro lamb of God, the redeemer of the world. The supreme sacrifice, the one who could forgive sins. But the word of God says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. But the thief relies that the blood that he saw on Jesus, that it was a redeeming blood. He didn't realize that blood had to be shed for him to be forgiven but he cried out he cried out he cried out to the Lord yes he did but look what he said he said Lord he said Jesus Lord remember me when you come into your kingdom he had a request he asked of the Lord the word says you have not because you ask not you ought to ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins your iniquities and your trespasses the Lord the Lord is able and willing to forgive you of your sins but all the thief church he saw life rather than death he saw life in Jesus so he said Lord remember me when you come into your kingdom the thief saw life beyond his death the thief found peace on the cross in Jesus oh what a friend we have in Jesus all of our sins and our griefs to bear oh what peace we often forfeit all because we do not carry everything 
not some things, but you ought to carry everything to the Lord in prayer. And those who pray in secret, the Lord will reward you openly. In the Lord good, in the Lord good, the thief saw in Jesus what he didn't see in others. Do you see that Jesus is your Savior? But not only that, he saw Jesus as being the King in the Lord good. In the Lord good, he said to Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. In order to have a kingdom, you got to have a king. You got to have a king. Jesus is not only Lord, he's not only Savior, but he's king of my life. He orders me, he commands me, he tells me that I'm his own. In the Lord good, in the Lord good, Jesus, he came as a savior the first time, but the second time, he's coming back as Lord of Lords and Kings of Kings. In the Lord good, in the Lord good, I want the Lord to recognize me. Lord, remember me. How do you want the Lord to remember you? People want to be remembered for the good things they've done. But Lord, I want you to remember me when I was a liar. Remember me when I was a backstabber. Remember me when I wasn't doing right. But Lord, Lord, only you can turn it around in my life anybody need a turning round in your life the Lord can do it any witnesses out there can the Lord do it can the Lord do it I know he can do it I know he's willing to do it somebody ought to cry out he'll do it He'll do it. Won't he do it? Won't he, won't he, won't he? Won't he do it? I know he will. Look what he says. Not tomorrow. Not next week. But today. 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 Today is your day. Today is your joy. Set on highs. Today is a day of peace. Today is a day of redemption. Today. Today. But not only are we to remember the thief, not only say, Lord, remember me. But Jesus, Jesus is saying to us, remember me remember him that the Lord is good to you the Lord died for you the Lord woke you up this morning the Lord gave you the Holy Ghost the Lord watched over you all night long the Lord made your enemies leave you alone the Lord put food on your table the Lord the Lord heal your body. The Lord open doors that no man could open. The Lord close doors that no man could shut. The Lord save your soul. The Lord died for your sins. Do you know who I'm talking about? You ought to recognize him. You ought to lift holy hands. You ought to lift up your voices. You ought to give him some praise. You ought to shout hallelujah. Do you recognize him for who he is? Without the Lord, without the Lord, 
without the Lord, without the Lord, I could be nothing. Without the Lord, I could do nothing. The Lord, David says, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is, the Lord is, the Lord is my shepherd. I yes, right. shall not want. That's all right today. I shall not want. That's right. The Lord is. The Lord is. Yeah. Moses. Say, who do you tell the folk? Who, who, who he is? Who's sending me? He said, just tell them I am. I am. I am. Yes, I am. He's the great I am. He's the great I am. I am that I am. Thank God that I recognize him for who he is and for what he's doing in my life. And if you would be truthful, you too could testify of what he is and what he's doing in your life. The other thief died in his sins, but the thief on the right died without sin because Jesus took his sins and washed him whiter than snow. And he didn't do it when he got up from the grave, but he did it on the cross. And that thief was the first fruits of those who were saved by the blood of Jesus and by the sacrifice of the Lamb of God. May God bless you today. May God keep you as my prayer. And at this time, I will extend to you an invite, an invitation, like no other invitation. Jesus extended it over some 2,000 years ago. When he was on Calvary, his arms were stretched out and all of the world can come within. He said, whosoever will, let him come. And this morning I was a whosoever will at one time. And I came to Jesus just as I was. I don't want you to change. I don't want you to stop doing nothing. Don't want, all he wants you to do is repent. Repent of your sins. And believe in your heart. And confess with your mouth. The word of God says, you shall be saved. And if you're out there this morning, you can come. And give your heart, give your life unto the Lord. And he will save you from sin and hell destruction. Not tomorrow, but today as he did for the thief on the cross. Will you come? And if you desire to come, if you desire to give your life to Christ, there is an address on the screen and a phone number on the screen of our beloved church, Bethel, Pensacola, Florida. You call that number and someone will answer. And we will give you directions as to how you can grow how you can glow in the Lord. God bless you. God keep you. Is my prayer. When the, on the cross of Calvary. Yes. The Lord was crucified. Yes, he was. The mob stood around about him and mocked. Until he died To thee oh, yes. were there Beside him To share the agony Oh, yes. oh but one of them Cried out to him Oh, Lord, remember me Oh, will the Lord remember 
help me oh lord where remember me I am called to go oh yes when i have crossed death's chilly sea will he his love there show oh yes oh yes he heard my fever Cry oh, from God, yeah. then set Let me, me free. free. And when I reach those pearly gates, He will remember, remember me. me. Amen. 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 Lord, remember me daily. Remember me. Every minute, every hour, Lord, please. Remember me is my prayer. At this time, we uh, invite you to give uh, not only to this ministry, but to give an offering unto the Lord. For we know that giving and worship goes hand in hand. And so this morning, we would want to thank you in advance for your gifts, for your tithe and offerings, and all that you have done by way of sowing a seed into this ministry and one thing i like about a seed is that when it multiplies it gives more than it was originally it will bring forth a harvest and so this morning if you sh uh, if you sow sparingly you shall reap sparingly to whom much is given much is required and so this morning we want to thank you again in advance for your giving in this ministry and about the lights we love you we thank you for your generosity we thank you for your love we thank you for your support and to our friends out there we want to thank you as well for your offering and for your gifts and uh, gifts of love and we thank you for your support we thank you for joining in and tuning in to this broadcast thank you so very much now my bro beloved brothers and sisters let us get ready now for our holy communion and i say to our bethelites at this particular time, as we go through our communion and as we consecrate the holy elements, we want you to join in with us. And as we partake of the bread and as we drink of the wine, wherever you are, you may join in with us. Thank you so very much. About the lights again and to all of our friends. Let us now get ready for our holy communion. I know it reaches to the highest mountain. Oh, yes. And it flows to the lowest valley. Oh, yes. Oh, to your name Lord we magnify you we glorify you we, we exalt you oh God we, we thank you oh God for Jesus thank you 
for his blood, his shed blood. Thank you for his death. But most of all, we thank you for his life, for he lives and he lives within us. God, thank you. Thank you, God. God, our general confession to you this morning. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are the maker of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and weakness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. Lord, we do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these are misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous, grievous unto us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, our Heavenly Father, yes. who of thy tender mercy did give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that, his precious death, until it's coming again. Hear us. Hear us, hear us, hear us. O oh, merciful Father, we must humbly beseech thee and grant that we receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institute in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who in the same night that he was betrayed, he, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat, take eat, take eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shared for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. 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 Oh, the blood of the 
crucified lamb. The blood of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus the Christ, that was shared for my sin on Calvary's cross. Father God, I thank you this morning that this was not the blood of animals or bulls and goats and sheep, but it's the blood of your precious son, Jesus Christ, that was shared for my sins on Calvary's cross. Father, I take it and I drink it with thanksgiving. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let's give God some praise. Let the church praise the Lord from whom all the blessings are flowing. Let the church, the body of believers, say amen unto our God and unto our Lord and unto our Savior and unto our King, Jesus the Christ. The benediction. Now, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen.